Expect the best on the river mile, the way we yeah. So it's time for servicing on my car, so I thought I'll bring you guys along with me to let you experience what it's like when you need to get your car serviced here at Ray. So we're gonna pull up right here where it says Volkswagen. Hey, Dean. Hello. Good afternoon, Amy. How are you? Can I kind of stay with the car and see what you guys do? Show everybody at home what you guys do? Sure. Get an insider's look. Yeah. What are we going to do first? Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some information on the car, get the paperwork ready, and then we'll get you back in the shop and get it up okay. in there and, and get the process started. All right. So we're going to walk yeah, around and kick the tires? Yeah, if you've got a moment, <laughs> let's walk around and make sure everything uh, visually looks okay. Okay. You having any issues or concerns other than getting the maintenance up to date? No. Nope. We'll take a look while it's back there at your tires, too. Looks like there may be a little bit of wear. And that, uh, we need will to you check the pressure too? Because that helps with my gas mileage, right. doesn't it? Yeah, we'll make sure awesome. the pressures are adjusted. All your fluids will get topped off. Um, anything that looks like it may be a concern, we'll advise you on that. Okay. Um, anything that looks like it may be a concern next time, we'll let you know so you're prepared for the next trip. Okay, yeah. Right. And when it's done with that, if you've got time today, we'll take you around and get the car washed as well. Well, you know I'd love a free car wash. All right. <laughs> we'll sure do it. All you're right. not going to make me do that part, are you? Uh, if you'd like to help, I'm <laughs> sure they'll be glad to, uh, to use an extra hand. Uh -huh. No one other than employees. That doesn't mean me. I'm going in. <laughs> All right, so Dean, this is a busy shop, and I, you got right. one on the rack right now, so I'm going to have to wait just a few minutes. Right. But on average, do people, first off, do they make appointments? Because I know I didn't make an appointment today. We do have appointments made, but for routine maintenance like you're coming in for, typically not. It's not necessary. Uh, unless it's on a Saturday, we do recommend them then. Otherwise, you don't really even recommend it, just come on in? It, for routine maintenance, no. We yeah. get you worked in and out, generally within an hour. Uh, That's what I was going to ask you. So I, I'm going to have to wait a few minutes anyway because right. you guys are busy, right. but about an hour? Right. He's uh, As we're writing yours up, he's finishing this one up, and uh, as soon as this one pulls off, yours will be, pull, yours will be pulling in, and about an hour later, we'll be uh, hopefully getting you out the door. Look at that. He's so good. Did you see how easily he did that? It's <laughs> plenty of practice. Well, this is where it all happens. Uh, Brent's right. going to get the vehicle in there. So, so we this can is Brent. It. Hey, Brent. Hey, how's it going? I'm going to shadow you today. Is that okay? <laughs> so basically, what's the first thing that happened? He looks at the ticket, Brent? He, he identifies what service you need based on what we had talked about. Okay. Um, he gets the vehicle, of course, like you know, on the lift. He'll okay. check over all the fluids, the fluid conditions, fluid levels. Uh, okay. Top off anything that's low. Uh, then from there, he'll get the vehicle in the air and do an under vehicle inspection. Make sure you don't have any fluid leaks, fluid um, issues. Uh, as far as that's concerned, make sure the tires look okay. Make sure your brakes look okay. And there it goes. Okay. Look, it's uh, magic. <laughs> Part of any service we do is going to be a full circle inspection, which is a multi-point inspection. And it's a peace of mind uh, to let you know that everything on the vehicle is looking good or uh, that there may be something that we need to be concerned about today or not okay. today the next time your oil change is due. Which I, I actually like that because you have told me about things in the past where you're saying, you know, don't need to worry about it right now. Right. But next time you come in, you might want to think about this needs to be done on your vehicle. And so it kind of gives you time to prepare and mentally because it'll cost you some money or something along those lines or something big. Everybody these days seems like they have to be on a budget, and I know I am. Yeah. So it's nice to know uh, that when you come in that uh, you get the, the idea that next time I'm going to need to buy a tire or buy four yeah. tires instead of having having a surprise of yeah. that expense right now. Obviously, I'm going to get my oil changed mm -hmm. today, but he's going to take the tires off. Right. And what's he doing? Why is he taking the tires off? Part of what we do, again, is a full circle inspection. Uh -huh. um, what, what he's doing now is not only inspecting the condition of the tire, uh -huh. but he's also going to inspect the condition of the brakes. Oh, um, okay. And then he goes back to fluids, make sure there's no fluid loss or leak there. So this is a visual inspection, basically, just up close and personal, something that I can't really do at home. That's right. I'm not going to yank my tires off at home. That's right. It's all, it's all a part you. about uh, uh, letting you know what you need to be prepared for, uh, whether there's nothing, hopefully, or uh -huh. within, a, within a, a few miles or a few thousand miles that you need to address. Okay, and that's what this is about here, too. You're yeah. saying this when, is your full circle here? This is a full circle report that you're going to get whenever you come by and have okay. your vehicle serviced. And what Brent does as he's going around the vehicle, he'll check off these operating systems. And pretty simple to, to recognize. Ooh, Green is great. It's color-coded. <laughs> Yellow means caution or something that we need to be concerned with in the future. Uh, and red is something that, uh, hey, we need to stop and go ahead and do something today. 
That um, is cool. Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple to follow, and uh, again, we'll do it every time. So when you come in initially, especially with a brand new car, you're going to expect to get green marks. Yeah. Oh, and as yeah. you get miles on it and, and time goes along is when we're going to start to to tell you that. Depending hey, on how well you more. treat your car. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> that, that makes a difference, huh? That's right. And so what's Brent doing now? He's checking the brakes right now? He is. He's checking okay. the, uh, the thickness of the brake pads. Uh, he measured the thickness of the uh, the tread depth on the, the tires, and that's part of what we'll notate on this uh, okay. on this form for you, so we can advise you best on what needs to be done. That's kind of like the, the penny there. check that we <laughs> similar to it. Slave people do. Similar to it. Yeah, we can see how how much a Lincoln's head we can see. Okay, <laughs> but but with with tools. <laughs> that's right. A little more advanced. So Brent, do you ever get nervous standing under a car like this? <laughs> That's so much neater than all those little bottles in the funnel. <laughs> We're pretty much now at the finishing touches of, uh, of the service, getting all your fluids topped off, refilling your oil, of course, is what he's uh -huh. doing now. Um, at this point in time, if you're waiting with us, you can expect to have been here in the neighborhood of uh, 35 minutes or so once he's uh, ready to top off the fluids and back the vehicle off the, uh, wow. the lift. Um, next stop after doing this will be taken around to our detail department where they'll do a hand wash uh, and, uh, and get it shining again for you. So this, this is probably a silly thing, but you know what? I really like being able to bring my car in here and having you guys top all my fluids because I don't have a garage, so I don't have to have all those half empty bottles of oil and fluid, washer fluid and all That's that right. garbage that I don't know where to put it, plus getting rid of old oil when you drain it. That's right. You don't have to worry about any of those things when you come here. We've got disposal uh, of any old fluids. Uh, we've got any fluid this vehicle calls for on hand and, and make sure everything's full when you leave. And if I did have other work done, you have the factory parts here or you can get them in no time to get my car serviced and back out the door. That's absolutely right. We've got uh, all the equipment that we need to keep your vehicle uh, like the factory intended when they built it. Okay, so I see lots of pretty colors of fluids going on all right. here. What all is this? You've got uh, two reservoirs there. The one with the uh, the pink color fluid is your antifreeze or engine coolant. Oh, okay. Um, the uh, other blue cap in front of it is where we top off your washer fluid. Gotcha. Um, your vehicle actually is equipped with an electronic power steering system. So there's no need for uh, power steering fluid, but if you had power steering fluid, we'd check that and make sure it's full for you. Uh, of course, the engine oil dipstick oil, to check yeah. it for you. Um, it, it's, it's, it's all right there and all uh, topped off and made yeah. sure it's ready to go for you. All right, so here comes Brent again. Of course, expert driving with my car. That's right. <laughs> We're at the final step. Uh, you can see we have a detail department. We don't have an automated car wash with yeah. uh, big brushes and uh, stuff that may scrape up your car. Richard's one of our detail uh, um, Dex and he's Thank gonna, you, Brent. <laughs> he's going to go ahead and start the process of uh, getting any dirt and grime off your car and getting it shining for you. So this this is really what I would do at home. It's just everything is convenient. It's just you come in for an oil change and now yeah. you don't have to. That's fantastic. I love it. So is he going to get my windows clean and all that too? He's going to do an exterior wash on the vehicle. He's actually going to see, you can see behind Sean's drying. Oh yeah, he's got vehicle. the chamois back there. Yeah. Um, so you don't leave here with water spots on your vehicle. He's going to wipe down the windows and dress the tires. That's fantastic. Uh, uh, oh, so I even get shiny tires. That's right. <laughs> like this, that. this is a, a similar service to what we do when you come by and buy the vehicle from us. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, all right. I guess he's making pretty quick work right. of this. Yeah, if, so. if you'd like, we can go up front and finalize your paperwork right. and close to getting to that done, uh, he should be bringing it around. Sounds great to me. All, all right. right. Thanks. Well, look at that. We get done paying and all that, and ta da! And here it is. Cars already. That's right. That's fantastic, and it really, it didn't take any time at all. Yeah, like we say, most cases uh, in the neighborhood of an hour to get all that uh, service work updated and to get, it, get the car washed for you. So, and there's a comfortable waiting room, obviously, so you can't even get a, a book read in that time, right. a got, magazine. We've got uh, <laughs> always fresh coffee brewing, we've got Wi-Fi, uh, we've got two televisions and two separate waiting rooms. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's with all those things, typically you, uh, you're in and out of here quickly and you get quality service for the time you're here. And, uh, and we've got things for you to do while you are here. Thanks, Dean. And I guess I'll see you in another uh, 3,000 miles You're or welcome. something like that. We'll see you <laughs> right. then. Thanks. Thank you.